Welcome to Sports Guy Talking. I am Dustin Tran, your host, as I am here today to talk about the greatness of Nikola Jokic. The Nuggets are currently on the verge of going to the NBA Finals for the first time in their franchise, and Nikola Jokic has been a big reason for that. Despite the fact that Nikola Jokic gets triple doubles with elite shooting efficiency, he is often forgotten about when it comes to listing out the best players in the NBA. Before I say anything else, though, I want to present you guys with a topic question. So, here it is. Is Nikola Jokic the most underrated superstar in the NBA right now? And to me, that's not even a question mark. Nikola Jokic is obviously the most underrated superstar in the NBA right now. I'll even go as far as to say that Nikola Jokic should be considered to be the most underrated player in the NBA right now. When you talk about best players in the NBA, people think of Giannis Antetokounmpo, they think of Joel Embiid, they even think of Jason Tatum before they get to Nikola Jokic. But Nikola Jokic gets triple doubles each and every night. And unlike Russell Westbrook, Nikola Jokic is getting efficient triple doubles. He's not jacking up 30, 40 shots a night. He's not shooting the ball just for the sake of shooting the ball. He's not demanding to have the ball in his hands all the time. Time. But Nikola Jokic is getting triple doubles with efficiency. He knows how to shoot the basketball effectively. He's not jacking up three point shots just for the heck of it. He's not even taking bad mid range jumpers. Nikola Jokic is scoring points in the paint, and he seems to be a Tim Duncan type of player where he's just fundamentally sound with his post moves. He knows how to post up on opposing defenses, and he knows how to master the hook shot, and he knows how to lay up the basketball really well. I've never seen a layup look as beautiful as what Nikola Jokic does when he does a layup. When Nikola Jokic lays up the ball, it is a mastery of art. Nikola Jokic has made the game of basketball look like a piece of art with the triple doubles that he puts in night in and night out. And it's incredible how he's just flown under the radar. And honestly, the reason why he has flown under the radar is because of the fact that he plays for Denver. He doesn't get to play in a big market like LA. He doesn't get to play in a big market like New York, like Boston. He gets to be stuck in Denver. Denver is a football town. When you think about the city of Denver when it comes to sports teams, you think of the Denver Broncos and you think of Broncos country. You're not really thinking about the Denver Nuggets. But Nikola Jokic has brought basketball interest to the city of Denver. And for that, I have to commend Nikola Jokic for that. And more importantly, when you look at this series, Nikola Jokic has done an excellent job dominating on the Los Angeles Lakers. I picked the Los Angeles Lakers to win this series in seven games, but I was wrong about that. You know why I was wrong about that? Because I thought LeBron James would show up and play big time. I thought Anthony Davis would be able to feast the Nuggets with the boards. I thought that Aaron Gordon would struggle in this series. And although Aaron Gordon has struggled somewhat for the Denver Nuggets, he's done a good enough job to not be a complete liability for them. But you're also thinking about how Nikola Jokic is not just getting himself those points. He's getting other players points as well. And he's getting those other players in rhythm. You're thinking about how Nikola Jokic has elevated Contavious Caldwell Pope's game. You're thinking about how Jamal Murray has played excellent and been an excellent sidekick for the Denver Nuggets. You're thinking about the fact that Michael Porter Jr. has played solid for the Denver Nuggets as well. You're thinking about the fact that Bruce Brown has been a solid player off the bench for the Denver Nuggets. And Nikola Jokic plays a big reason for that. Nikola Jokic knows how to pass the ball, how to facilitate an offense. And these are things that we are saying for a center. Now, if we were saying this for a point guard, this would already be very impressive. But this is a center that we're talking about. Nikola Jokic is averaging 11.3 assists per game as a center, which is just freaking insane to think about. Nikola Jokic has unique passing ability skills, and he can pass the basketball better than a lot of point guards can. And the point guard's job is supposed to pass the ball, but when Nikola Jokic as a center passes the ball better than almost every single point guard in the league, if not flat out better than every point guard in the league. When you talk about passers, Nikola Jokic has to be up there in terms of being an elite passer. And then more importantly, you're looking about the fact that Nikola Jokic can rebound the basketball really well. Nikola Jokic is averaging almost 15 rebounds a game in this series against the Los Angeles Lakers. And it seems to me the Lakers don't have much of an answer. I thought that the Los Angeles Lakers might have been able to have an answer to limit Nikola Jokic when they put Rui Hachimura on Nikola Jokic. But the Nuggets have figured out that problem by using Aaron Gordon as a cutter and having him hit some jump shots, which he has successfully done and also getting the ball in Jamal Murray's hands as well and that's the thing with Jokic too you look at Nikola Jokic and you're thinking man how's he so impactful even when he doesn't have the ball in his hands you know why because he sets screens he hustles for rebounds he knows how to facilitate the basketball he knows how to make good passes he knows how to play fundamental basketball in terms of posting up making solid layups he's not going to go ahead and try some crazy dunks he's going to play within his own abilities which is
just something that you can't say about every player. When you think about superstar players in the NBA, they will do anything and everything to play outside of their ability just to prove that they can do that. But Nikola Jokic is not like that. And also, I think Nikola Jokic is underrated as well because of the fact that Nikola Jokic doesn't have much of a personality. Nikola Jokic, unlike a lot of NBA players, is your typical everyday citizen of the United States. Nikola Jokic doesn't come out there and speak about these social issues. He doesn't try to act like he's better than your everyday citizen in America. Nikola Jokic understands what's it like to be an average American. And I think a lot of people can relate to Nikola Jokic because of that. But I also think that makes Nikola Jokic really underrated as well because people don't necessarily know him for off the court stuff. We don't really know Nikola Jokic as a basketball activist off the court. We just know Nikola Jokic as a really good basketball player that knows how to stuff up the stat sheet and shoot the basketball effectively as well. Now, I think that's a reason why Nikola Jokic also didn't win the MVP this year as well, even though I was arguing adamantly that Nikola Jokic should win the MVP award. The real reason why Nikola Jokic didn't win the MVP award was because those voters were scared to vote for a white man to win three straight MVPs because they were scared of being called racist. And that's the problem that I got with the MVP voters, man, because these MVP voters got intimidated by what Kendrick Perkins was saying, and they decided to vote for the black man, even though he clearly didn't deserve to win the MVP. They voted Joel Embiid to win MVP over Nikola Jokic? What? That is absolutely wild to me. I mean, look, Joel Embiid had a fantastic year. I'm not trying to take away anything that Joel Embiid did, but Joel Embiid should not have won the MVP over Nikola Jokic, but all because they didn't want to vote for the white man to win three straight MVPs. They had to go ahead and vote for Joel Embiid. And that, for that reason alone, is making Nikola Jokic the most underrated superstar in the NBA right now. You're just thinking about all these star players, and for whatever reason, people seem to forget Nikola Jokic, all because he plays in Denver. I mean, you got Stephen A. Smith, who barely even knows who Nikola Jokic is, even though he's supposed to be this basketball basketball analyst on ESPN. You got people like Lisa Salters, who's an ESPN sideline reporter for NBA games that seems to barely know who Nikola Jokic is. She's even admitted herself that she's never watched Nikola Jokic play, even though she's supposed to be this basketball savant that's watching a lot of basketball because she does sideline reporting for basketball. The fact that the media seems to not know much about Nikola Jokic and the fact that fans seem to know more about him than the media does, that just tells you how underrated Nikola Jokic is. Nobody ever mentions Nikola Jokic as this future all-time great at the center position, but that's exactly the path that Nikola Jokic has done. You think about how they talk about, ooh, this superstar, he's going to be great at what he does. But when Nikola Jokic, man, he just does his work. He does the dirty work. He does the flashy work as well. He knows how to score points efficiently. He knows how to shoot the three ball really well. He knows how to play defense as well. And here's the thing, too. A lot of people say that Nikola Jokic cannot play good defense, but that is a lie. Nikola Jokic is actually a very good defender. Sure, is he going to be that guy that's going to leap 12 feet into the air and block shots all the way across the court? No, he's not going to do that, but he's going to be in the right position, and he's going to out-rebound a lot of players in the NBA. That's how good Nikola Jokic is. And as for whether or not the Nuggets end up winning game four against the Lakers, I think that they will end up doing that because even though I have expressed doubt about the Nuggets being able to win on the road, they showed that they could do that in game three. I got a repeat of that happening because the Nuggets win this game in game four. They're going to sweep the Lakers and they're going to go on to the first ever appearance in the NBA finals. I'm just excited to see Denver in there because I think that team has been getting swept for far too long. Denver's been a good team for years. They just haven't been able to break break past certain obstacles, but now it seems like they're going to go ahead and do that. I got to give Nikola Jokic his props. I've always been hiring Nikola Jokic, and to me, he's definitely the most underrated superstar. I don't think there's even a close number two to that category right now. When you talk about superstars in the NBA, Nikola Jokic has to be up there. And in fact, I'm even going to go as far as to say that Nikola Jokic should be the best player in the NBA right now. That's how good Nikola Jokic is playing. I would take him over Giannis Antetokounmpo. I would take him over Joel Embiid, and honestly, he should have won three straight MVPs, but you know what? Winning two MVPs in a row, I've been following that up with a future NBA title in his hands. So that is why Nikola Jokic is the most underrated superstar in the NBA right now. Remember, go ahead and subscribe to Sports Guy Talking, like the video, and please comment down below. If you guys do that, I may shout you guys out in my Instagram story every Monday. That will be for the at Tran Instagram account. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Dustness Tran and that sports guy talking. Also, go follow me on Twitter at Dustness Tran. Again, go ahead and do those things that I just told you guys to go do. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the content that was just produced. Peace out. I hope you enjoyed that video. 
Want more Sports Guy Talking, the home of great sports content? Make sure you click that subscribe button to get the latest from Sports Guy Talking. Go ahead and like the video. Comment down below. Check the description box on the video in order to follow my Instagram and Twitter. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from the YouTube channel, Sports Guy Talking.